Hey there guys. So admittedly I'm probably a bit late on this, but um, I've just found out that Janibek is going to be defending his title against Denzel Bentley. Um, so this fight went under my radar. Um, I, I've only, I only heard about it yesterday, and I think it was announced um, almost a month ago. So um, my first impressions were that this was a complete, a complete cherry pick. Um, Denzel Bentley is ranked number 14 in the WBO rankings. There are a lot of uh, better fighters than him in those rankings. You got Chris Eubank, um, Vincent Feigenboots. Um, I'm just going off memory now, but I think Felix Cash is in those rankings. Um, and he's gone and picked a number 14 contender in Denzel Bentley. Um, so the reason I think this is a cherry pick, um, and I've followed Denzel Bentley's career um, for a couple of years now. Um, I've seen all of, all of his fights in the last few years. Um, to me, I've never been impressed with Denzel Bentley. Um, I remember watching his fight against Mark Heffron. Um, that was a, a draw after 10 rounds. Um, Mark Heffron, he's a solid, solid domestic level guy, but you've got to take into consideration that he was struggling to make the middleweight limit. Um, and he has looked a lot better at super middleweight. I think that might be his natural weight. So he was probably in quite a drained state in that fight. And um, obviously they fought to a draw. Um, and Denzel Bentley stopped him in the rematch. But that was just on a swollen eye. So it's not really a, a conclusive victory in my opinion. Um, I don't really view cuts and swells as really conclusive victories um, but it's a win on his record nonetheless um, so then you went on and he got battered by Felix Cash um, that fight wasn't even it wasn't even competitive Felix Cash um, he came out he hurt him in the first round um, and in the second round he was a bit more competitive but in the third um, Felix Cash stopped him um, on the ropes um, Denzel Bentley was pretty much out on his feet at that point. Um, some people say it's a premature stoppage, but um, he was going to get knocked out anyway. So um, D Denzel Bentley, he didn't look good in that fight. He, Felix Cash exposed him as a limited fighter. Um, and I don't think Felix Cash is anything special. Um, I think he's just a solid European level fighter. I don't think he's going to go on and... Uh, I don't think he's going to win a world title in his career. Um, so then Denzel Bentley, he fought to a very, very close um, split decision win against um, Lionel Sudofia, um, who was a bit, Sudofia was a bit unknown going into that fight. He had a an unbeaten record, but he hadn't really fought anyone. Um, so he was a bit of an unknown commodity and it was a very close fight. Uh, some people thought Rodofia won, some thought Bentley won. Um, and we don't really know how good Linus Rodofia is. Maybe he is um, Maybe he is a good fighter, but you know, he's still quite unproven. Um, and then he, in his last fight, he stopped Marcus Morrison in four rounds. But Marcus Morrison's not really anything special in my opinion. I don't even think he's British title level. So... Um, so Denzel Bentley, he has struggled at domestic level. Um, I believe Felix Cash exposed him um, as a basic. Uh, he, he, he's he's a bit of a sort of grind, grinded out fighter. He sort of comes forward. Um, he throws big shots, looking for the knockout, but he, he hasn't really got much more than that. He's not very technical. Um, he didn't have. I don't even think he had an amateur career. So he's been sort of learning on the job in the pros. Um, and I believe he's very limited. So, um, And I don't believe he is anywhere near the best um, middleweight on the domestic scene. I think Chris Eubank Jr., um, Liam Williams, I think Felix Cash obviously because he battered Denzel Bentley. Um, and probably Shiraz are all better than him. Um, so... I believe this is a cherry pick from Janibek. Um, it's, it, 
if Andrade was still a, still a champion, this is probably a fight he would take, you know? So, um, I think this is a poor fight and it's a mismatch. Um, if Yanebek is at that level, you know, some people have been calling them the new Golovkin and whatever. If he is that good and if he is that guy, then he should be taking Denzel Bentley out within six rounds, probably. Um, if he if Denzel Bentley causes Yanebek problems, then I think there's some warning signs there. So, um, yeah, that's, that's all I've got to say about this. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and God bless.